sometimes choosing the opportunity is going to depend on what you can actually find. So there are some great uh, sort of search engines out there to help students identify these programs. A great one is Teen Life. Um, but there are also other types of uh, listings and directories that you can can find as well. Um, one that uh, a lot of my students have liked this year is called Pathways to Science. Um, and there are a lot of different opportunities you can search on that. Um, sometimes you just have to be really creative, either through a Google search, what are you looking for? Um, or through your network, what have other students done in the past or older students done in the past? Or even uh, can you create an opportunity by connecting your student to one of your colleagues or someone from you know your own college or something like that so they can get a, a research or internship kind of position. Um, so those will often determine what you actually end up doing is what's available to you. Um, but if you have multiple options, um, I would really encourage you to think about what does your student seem most excited about? That's the place that they're going to put the most energy and effort into and that's the place they're going to get the most out of. Um, it's um, not always the best idea to force them into something that they really don't want to do. Of course, you know, you as their parent know best uh, what they need to do, what they really need to work on. And so it may be a bit of a give and take, you know, maybe they, they get to do one fun thing and one thing that, um, you know, you know, they need to do, but they don't really want to do. Maybe it's a trade off compromise. Um, I think it's also important to think about what is a reputable program. Um, most summer programs are not highly selective in the sense that you have to apply and, you know, only 5% get in and things like that. There may be some selectivity in terms of, you know, who the program might be full. And so you, you do need to apply a little bit earlier. Um, and certainly there are some competitive programs out there. So I don't want to pretend that they're not, uh, they're not selective in any way. Um, but, uh, the value of a summer program is not really in the, you know, prestige or how selective it is. It's really about what your student is going to be able to say about their experience, um, both in terms of, you know, how did they actually grow? What did they learn? How did they change? But also, could this be fodder for a future college application essay? Um, or uh, is this um, the start of um, the exploration of a new career path or a love for an academic subject that they just didn't have before, right? So um, those are the things that really matter. So think about that when you're evaluating programs. Um, also, many of these programs do cost quite a bit of money. Um, and so you need to weigh what are you getting out of it with what are you paying for? Um, and again, um, you don't pay for prestige. So if, if, a, if a program is telling you, oh, this is the best program in the country and it's $15,000, you know, maybe question, is it really uh, going to yield the benefits that it's claiming to yield? Um, and think about whether um, that investment makes sense for your family. 